Hi, I'm Bengt Novik from Stockholm, Sweden. I represent here all the authors of this study from the Swedish Hernia Registry and the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. It is now published in the Journal of American College of Surgeons with open access which means that even non-subscribers can read the full article and also download it for free. The more than 25,000 repairs were followed for at least one year up to a maximum of 14 years. We had a negligible number of dropouts. We investigated four fixation alternatives. Non-fixation, metal tax, absorbable tax, and fibrin glue. We included flat meshes only, first uh, the standard, also known as heavyweight pure polypropylene mesh. To demonstrate relative risk differences, here expressed as hazard ratio, we used multivariable Cox proportional hazards regression. In our model, we chose standard pure polypropylene mesh without fixation as reference, which always is hazard ratio 1. For the standard pure polypropylene mesh, there were really no differences, uh, or at least no improvements with fixation. So when choosing standard pure polypropylene mesh, in order to save the extra cost of unnecessary fixation, we would recommend non-fixation. Then we did the same analysis with lightweight mesh. With no fixation, the risk was doubled when compared to standard pure polypropylene mesh without fixation. Metal tax and absorbable tax did not significantly improve the poorer outcome with lightweight mesh. However, with fibrin glue, the high risk with lightweight mesh was completely eliminated. Therefore, when choosing lightweight mesh, which at least in our country is the most popular mesh type, we would recommend fibrin glue fixation. Thank you very much.